Hello, and welcome to the tutorial overviewing all of the changes and updates made to the new Missouri Comprehensive Data System Portal. Some new features of the MCDS Portal include the following. It serves the parent and community audience while giving an enhanced experience for other users, such as district users and researchers. It allows parents to locate schools and also compare schools, districts, and charters by data that parents are genuinely interested in. It provides easier navigation with less clicks and less pages. It delivers quick access to useful at-a-glance data on the first page of the portal. It gives more information about the data, including how it was calculated and why it is important. It provides user-friendly language while still providing the same reports and needed information to the districts, and it presents a mobile-friendly design. This is the new MCDS portal. At the top of the screen, you'll notice the message section. If there are any important messages users need to know about the portal, they will be posted here. Right below the message banner, you will find the Choose District or Charter drop-down menu. Currently, I am viewing the portal at the state level because I have state access, but if you have district or charter level access when you enter the portal, that specific district or charter will display here. To change your view to display a certain district or charter's information, or to change your view to state information, search the list provided in the drop-down menu. Once you have selected a district or charter, you can then select a building within that district or charter to display information at the building level. To see the entire list of buildings for a district or charter, select More Buildings. The new portal has two views. The first is the default at-a-glance view. The view provides helpful information for teachers and parents displayed as visual representations of key education indicators. The data displayed here is aggregated at the state, school district, charter school, and building level. To learn more about an image, simply select the image and read through the description provided. The second portal view is the Reports and Resources view. This view provides links to data organized in Excel spreadsheets, PDF documents, and URL links to pages of Missouri Education data, along with links to other resources and technical manuals. Secured reports are displayed first, and then public reports second. You will only be able to see secured reports if your DESE web applications account has the correct level of access. If you do not have the correct access, you will only be able to see the public reports. The image in the left column tells you what type of resource you're clicking on, and the second column shows you the data descriptors and lets you know what sort of data the resource includes. On either of the two portal views, you can also select the Show All Content button. This button allows you to see the entire library of old reports, resources, and images. Items displayed through the Show All Content button typically are not used as much by common users. Both portal views are broken down by categories and subcategories provided on the left. These category names were created to make it easier for users to find information. So if I was trying to find information on MAP scores, I would select the Student section because that section contains data about our students and the scores they received on that MO assessment. To collapse the subcategories within a category, simply select Collapse All. And to expand them once more, select Expand All. When searching for specific information, you can use these categories and subcategories, or you can use the search feature. To use the search feature, enter a keyword or phrase related to the topic you would like to find more information on. You'll notice that once you search a topic, any sections that do not contain information on the topic you searched will be grayed out. That way, you can easily see which areas contain information on the topic you searched. You may also notice that the Show All button disappears. That's because only images or reports relating to your search are displaying. Once you've completed your search, simply select Clear Search. Another new feature of the MCDS portal is the School Comparison page. 
This feature allows parents and other users to learn how their school compares to other schools in the surrounding area or even throughout the state. Users can compare their school to the state, districts, charters, or even specific school buildings, and users can also choose what data is used in each comparison. To begin using the School Comparison feature, search for schools you wish to compare using the Search feature. To locate the school, you may enter the district, charter, school, city, or zip code. Once you have found the districts, charters, or schools you would like to compare, select Add, and those selections will be added to your comparison. You may select up to four districts, charters, or schools for comparison. Once you have completed Step 1, you may then begin choosing the criteria for comparing the schools. To select data for comparison, you can use the Search feature to find a specific topic, or you can use the Category drop-down to find data areas that are important to you. You may choose up to 20 data topics for comparison. If you are having trouble finding specific information, you can use the optional Advanced Search option. This step allows you to be able to put filters on your searches so only specific information displays. If you do not need additional search filters, you can simply select Compare. You are now able to view the comparison page you created. In order to modify your search, select the Search Modify Selected Districts, Charters, and Schools button. There you can add or remove elements of your search criteria. You can also remove elements by selecting the X's within the columns and rows. Selecting an X at the top of the column will remove the district, charter, or school, and selecting an X within the row will remove the data topic. The last feature of the new MCES portal is the Data Download page. This page lets users with the correct security access download the data for their district, charter, or institution. If you do not have the correct security access, this feature will not display. To download data for your district, charter, or institution, select the year you would like the data from, and then select your district, charter, or institution from the drop-down list. Your drop-down will only show the district, charter, or institution you have access to. So if you only have access in one district, that is the only district that will display in your drop-down list. After selecting the correct criteria for your data download search, you may then select what data you would like to download. This concludes the new MCDS Portal Overview. If you have any questions about the new portal, please feel free to contact the Office of Data System Management at dsm at desi.mo.gov or 573-522-3207.